Hi, I'm the Calculus Professor, and today we'll be talking about antiderivatives. In problem number 59, we'd like to find the antiderivative capital F of this function little f of x, which is equal to x to the fifth minus 2x to the minus 2 plus 1 that satisfies that capital F of 1 is equal to 0. Okay, so we usually call this some sort of an initial value problem. Uh, we want to, so what we really want to do is we want to find all antiderivatives of this guy, and then we want to figure out which one of those antiderivatives satisfies this condition. All right, so first let's find all antiderivatives of this function, which is basically like taking the indefinite integral. And then we'll figure out which one of those satisfies this initial condition. So I want all the antiderivatives of f little f of x. So I want the antiderivative of x to the fifth minus 2x to the minus 2 plus 1 dx, which is equal to uh, using the reverse of the power rule. The antiderivative of x to the fifth, I add 1 to 5, so I get x to the sixth, but then I divide by the new power, so x to the sixth over 6. Uh, for negative 2x to the minus 2, the minus 2 is constant, so I leave it, and then I get x to the, I add 1 to the old power, so I get x to the minus 1, but then I need to divide by the new power, which is negative 1. And then finally, I have plus 1. If you'd like, this is plus 1x to the 0 power. So I need to raise the power of x by 1 to x to the first. So I get plus x to the first divided by 1, or just x if you prefer. And then I need to add my constant of integration. OK, let's rewrite this. This is equal to uh, x to the 6th over 6. Uh, now I have a minus on top and a minus on bottom, so those will cancel. And I'm just left with 2x to the minus 1 plus x plus c. OK, so this is my antiderivative. In other words, it's all of the antiderivatives of this function little f. Now I need to say specifically if x is 1, uh, I want to get 0. In other words, what is this constant of integration? Because when x is 1, I need to get 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in 1 for x and see what c has to be in order to get 0. So I want 0 to be equal to plug in 1 for x here. So I get 1 to the 6th over 6 plus 2 times 1 to the negative 1 plus 1 plus c. And that is supposed to be equal to 0. In other words, 0 is equal to, uh, this is 1 6th. Uh, 1 to the minus 1 is just 1, so plus 2 plus 1 plus c. Okay, so I've got 2 plus 1 plus a 6, that's 3. How many 6 it, sixths is 3? It's 18 6 plus 1 more is 19 6. So 0 is equal to 19 over 6 plus c. So that implies that c is equal to negative 19 over 6. And so now I can get my answer. Because my answer was, uh, we're looking for what particular antiderivative capital F uh, gives me that f of 1 is 0. Well, it's this guy, except we now know what c is. C is negative 19 over 6. So let's write it down. K 
capital F of x is equal to, well, it's x to the 6th over 6 plus 2x to the negative 1 plus x and then plus c. But c is negative 19 over 6, so minus 19 over 6. And we have found the antiderivative that we're looking 